Hello my little crafty monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these adorable and very classy looking Valentine card that says Adore, Isadore my darling. And they are, it is embossed in a gold embossed powder which made it look metallic like I foiled it. But I really didn't boo boo. And I also use these little black heart gems that I use on my Halloween stuff. But this one, it totally called for a black heart. And I did a little bow that was made with the 10 second bow. There's going to be a link in the bottom in the description, my little loves, and that will direct you to that link so that you could purchase one of these because uh, this is a must have in the craft room. It really, really is. I'm telling you. And then we did a little, a little background die for the little holes right there. I don't know what this is called. I know one of you guys is gonna know what this is called, this little print right there. It almost looks like a lattice. I want to say a lattice, but it's not a lattice. But anyway, and then we got this little heart. These little heart, we got it at Zichobelobes. And they have these right now in the Valentine section. And I think there's like a pack of 12 for like $1.99. I'm not 100% sure how much this costs. But you can find these at Zichobelobes. And these are the little bad boys we're going to be making right now. So I know you guys want to get down and dirty with the crafting right now. So... Let's get down to the desk and I will see you in a bit. Hola, hola, my little crafty monsters. So in this fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these adorable but classy looking little Valentine cards. This is going to be, um, we're going to go ahead and use that dye background to make the little background on the paper. We will be using those black uh, gem heart black they're like a flat back gem and i purchased those from downtown la and these little gold hearts that we purchased from zichobelobes and so let's go ahead and get started on this little bad boy because this is a simple card we're not going to end up using that mesh net sorry it was out there but we are not going to go with that so i'm going to go ahead and start off by bringing out our um our stamps our sentiments and also our Sizzix stamping pad so it'll go ahead and help us stamp this sentiment in the inside of our card base a lot easier now if you guys need any any measurements or any instructions on how to make card bases and card mats there's going to be a link in the bottom go ahead and click that link that says card base and that'll that'll send you on to another tutorial that'll give you more explanations so on this part, just go ahead and stamp the sentiment on the inside of your card that you're going to be using. I'm pretty sure you guys have a lot, a lot of um, different sentiments that you guys could use. This one, I had purchased it at uh, Michael's, and I purchased this one about three to four years ago. So it's kind of an old, old stamp, but the sentiments, I mean, I, I love them. They're basically for somebody who you're, who's your partner. It's more of one of those kind of stamps. And this is the stamp set that I purchased from eBay from this person who was getting rid of their stamps. So I don't really know where they got that stamp from, but I'm going to pick that word adore. So we're going to go ahead and emboss that with some Versamark water, watermark ink. We're going to go ahead and stamp that little bad boy in the front on the bottom. And then we're going to hit that with some gold embossing powder. So that it could be a little gold because it's going to basically match the gold heart that we're going to put in front of this card as well. And I wanted it to, you know, be a little bit different. So we put adore, adore my loves. <laughs> so go ahead and just get your little cards ready for the heating tool. And then just go ahead and clean off your stamps because you know that's very important to keep them nice and clean and healthy. Not to mention also ready for the next project. And... So we just get our heating tool, start heating it up and letting that little bad boy heat. And then we're going to go ahead and watch the magic work. So you guys don't really have to do the embossing part. You guys could go ahead and skip this part. You guys could do um, just a regular stamp or whatever it is that you guys want to go ahead and do. But for the most part, I wanted it to be uh, a gold emboss 
so that it could basically match the little heart in the front. So now we're gonna bring out our Sizzix machine and we're gonna go ahead and cut. Well, not cut, but we're gonna to try to do only half of this card. So go ahead and put this half on there. And the cutting mat, don't put it on the very edge because it's gonna basically cut off your whole entire paper. So just do it to where you want it to stop. And so like right here, it was perfect. But you guys are gonna actually notice that on the second one, I kind of went a little too far on the machine and it cut it off. And that's basically what you guys don't want to do. I did not edit this part because I, got, I wanted you guys to see what would happen if you do go all the way off and you cut off the paper. It is not the end of the world, my little crafty monsters. You could basically save it. So right here in this part, I went a little too far and the paper got cut off. Oh, that was so frustrating. But nevertheless, we're going to continue working and we're not going to let that bother us because we will be fixing it. There's going to be a belly band that's going to go in the front of this that's going to basically cut off the, the part where the die starts and then it's just the sentiment in the bottom. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Uh, you know me. I like to add a little bow on everything with my 10 second bow maker. And then right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out these little holes because these are tedious little holes. I really need one of those brushes. Um, they're those little intricate brushes that you just run over the dies and it just pokes all these little things out. But for the most part, I don't have that right now. So we're gonna do that manually <laughs> with our little picker. I love this background on this die, but this is kind of, this is the part that I hate is poking out all these little tiny cuts because you know they get stuck in there. So anyways, go ahead and do that to both of your pieces. And once you got both of those pieces done, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put this little bad boy together. And you're gonna notice that this card is super, super easy to put together. I mean, I know I say that about a lot of cards, but I do try to keep the cards as simple and classy looking as possible so that everybody could um, could make them and not feel so intimidated. So on this part, we're just gonna lay some black mat in front of the card base. This is gonna be the black that's gonna be peeping out on the sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue our main mat on the front of this little bad boy. So go ahead and put some glue on there. I was still taking off some of those little things that were in the back. So make sure you take all those off because they will make it kind of bumpy. Lay that on the front. Look at how gorgeous that looks. I really, really like how this looks with the red, the black, and the white. But then again, those are the colors that I've been using throughout almost all of Valentine, right? <laughs> and then we're just going to get our little gold heart from Zichabelabes. And we're going to glue that little bad boy to the very front. Just be careful you don't get glue on it because they get stained pretty fast. And so we're almost going to be done. So then this part is the one that we messed up on. Remember, it got cut accidentally. But we're going to go ahead and fix this because nobody's ever going to notice that it was cut. And even if they were to be able to notice that it was a little bit cut, they're not going to know if that was your intention or not. <laughs> so go ahead and lay down the first part. And then go ahead and lay down the second part. And right here, just make sure that you're lining them up correctly so that they're aligned and then so just glue your little gold heart on the top of this little bad boy and then we're going to go ahead and get those little belly bands ready so we're going to go ahead and get some so it depends on the size of the card that you guys are making this is the size that of the belly band that you're going to do i usually do them about an inch they're always usually about an inch and so just cut it to an inch and then cut it to the length that it's needed and in the length it's usually three and a quarter which is your last mat in the front so cut that down to three and a quarter and then you're going to lay that on top of that little part where the dies where the die part starts and then the plain paper starts if that makes any sense go ahead and lay that little bad boy down but before you do that we're going to go ahead and make a little bow with our 10 second bow maker so let's go ahead and get that little bad boy out. There will also be a link in the bottom that will um, link you guys to go and purchase this little 10 second bow maker because as I said before, this is a must have in the craft room. So go ahead and get your ribbon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go ahead and get your ribbon and we're going to go ahead and get started. So you don't want to glue down that belly band yet because you're going to attach the ribbon and your bow to the belly band. So. 
I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough tails that is gonna go around the whole entire little belly band. And then just go ahead and cut it. I usually always measure it with the same, with one of the ones that I make, just so that they could all be the same, but. Yeah, so now that you have these little bad boys done, then go ahead and start trimming them off and cutting them. I actually like to use glue and tape. You guys have seen me do this before. Um, go ahead and glue down your ribbon however you guys feel fit or however you're more comfortable with. And this is another reason why I like to cut the belly bands to about an inch. Because if I'm ever gonna add like a ribbon the way I'm doing now, the tape, I want it to go ahead and fit in the back and not have to worry about it. So then once you attach it, just go ahead and attach that to your card. Look at how cute that is. So that first one that we made was the one that got cut off accidentally. So as you can tell with the band and the, the little bow in the front, you could never ever tell that we messed up on that card. <laughs> that we effed it all up, guys. Um, nobody will ever tell. So go ahead and just add that onto there. And then before we finish, we're gonna go ahead and add those little, um, the little gem flat back hearts. And I was going to do kind of two different sizes. I was going to do some little medium and some small ones, but I decided that I just wanted to go with the small ones. This little gem picker wrapper does not work. <laughs> so I went back to my old reliable little quick stick because that other one, for some reason, it just was not picking them up. And so I just decided to use two. I felt two of them was perfect enough and I'm going to go ahead and use this little E6000 because I want these to be pretty secure and I don't want to use hot glue on this one because I like to show you guys that you know you could use different adhesives for different kind of little projects and so what I do is I just put it down <clears throat> excuse me I'm so sorry about that go ahead and put down that little flat back gem and then just pick it up with your tweezers and um, and then just go ahead and place it wherever it is that you want to place it and let that dry That's gonna take about 30 minutes to dry. So let those little bad boys dry So that that e6000 will cure and then those little bad boys will not go anywhere I just really felt that those little flat backs really gave it a little something to this little card I really love how that looks it just it's a classy card, but it's a very simple card, too make one for one of your partners or one of your loves or all of your boo-boos whoever it is and that's how easy it was to make these little bad boys it was super easy my friend and you saw how we messed up on on the video like we accidentally cut one of these little guys and you can't even tell you cannot tell which one was the one that we effed up on <laughs> But we effed up. Yes, we did, Bobo. Yes, we did. We did exactly what I was going to tell you not to do. <laughs> but we're just keeping it real right here. We're not going to edit it. We're going to let you see how even Jesse effs it up. So, look at this. Isn't this cute? And in the inside, it says, You have my whole heart for my whole life. How cute is that? Did you guys? Did you guys get that? Are you looking? Are you looking? You have my whole heart for my whole life. Adorbs. Is adorbs the allor. Anywho, I hope that inspired you guys to make a Valentine card for that some someone special in your life. And um or all the special people in your lives. And if you do make them, definitely share it with us on our Facebook page and upload a picture of it so we can all see what fabulous creation you created and that is it for now my little crafty monsters i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you guys don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well as that little notification and tell a friend because your friends totally need to know how fabulous this is and don't forget guys our videos of our valentine um series is almost over we have a few more cards i think we have about three more cards and then we're gonna have the grand finale, which is this, um, this box of roses, and it's freaking gorgeous. You guys are going to 
freaking fall in love with it and then that's when you're gonna know that that's our grand finale and then after that we're just gonna go into regular crafting guys so like i said don't forget to share and tell a friend guys so that's it for now my little crafting monsters goodbye